Alléluia. Amen. Book of Mark, chapter 16. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Book of Mark, chapter 16. I am free. Hallelujah. Amen. We are free. Amen. We are free. We cannot be defeated by any virus. The virus is not for God's children. If you have Jesus in your life, you cannot have coronavirus. Whatever they call it, you cannot have it. It's not possible. The life of Christ in me is greater than the life of the natural man. The Bible says that I'm born again. That I have the Holy Spirit living in me. That means that I have eternal life in my lungs, in my bones, in every cell of my blood, in my nose, in my throat, in my mouth, on my eyes, on my skin, in every fiber of my being, from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. I have the life of God working in me. I have so way working in me. So way is the word, is the life of God. Amen. That life is active in me. Amen. It works in me. Amen. It works in me. Hallelujah. Whatever I lay my hands upon to do Amen. is blessed. Whatever I touch by mistake or consciously is blessed because of my hands. Amen. The air that I breathe. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether I forgot to put a mask. Whatever I breathe, I breathe the sanctified particles. Hallelujah. The particles, the particles, the oxygen are particles. The oxygen is a set of particles that I breathe. So whatever I breathe is sanctified. Hallelujah. Do you believe it? Do you believe that you are a child of God? Hallelujah. If you believe it, speak it, see it, confess it, meditate upon it until it sings in your system. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that a thousand, ten thousand will fall on your side, but it shall not come near you. Hallelujah. Amen. So you will hear of news, but that will not come near your home. Your children will not be affected. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not be affected because it is not for you. That is what God did in Egypt. He told the children of Israel to remain in house. To remain in house. And in house, he told them to feast. He told them to eat, to celebrate. Hallelujah. Because the angel of death was going to come in Egypt. To strike every Egyptian. That is what is happening. It doesn't matter, you know, the nature of the virus. Whether a natural virus or a man-made virus, it doesn't matter. The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Confess it for yourself. Amen. Speak it for yourself. Amen. As you do that, you do that for your children. Amen. You do that for your family. You do that for your parents. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. 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 Greater is the Lord in me. The Lord has given me victory. The Lord has given me a sanctified life. My life is sanctified. My body is sanctified. Every fiber of my being is sanctified. My house is sanctified. My car is sanctified. My hands are sanctified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm a life-giving spirit. I give the life of God. I give the life of God. Whether to the things that I touch. Whether to the air that I breathe. Whether to the food that I eat. Whether to the people that I touch. I'm a life-giving person. I was born to give life. The life of God is in me. It's in me. It's in my throat. It's in my bones. It's in my body. It's in every fiber of my being. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's who I am. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me tell you something. Let me give you one of, one of the pieces of news from the Lord Jesus. Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter 16. He said, he said, go ye into all the world. You see, the, the mission has not changed. It doesn't matter what is happening. We, in the Old Testament, we needed to go physically. To tread upon, you know, to be physically in that place, to take possession of a place. That's what used to happen in the Old Testament. But since Jesus came and he gave us the Holy Spirit, the master of the universe, we don't need to go physically. That is what the virus or Satan does not understand. He thought that by, by the church staying home, we could no longer work. We could no longer spread across the world. We could no longer speak the gospel of the Lord Jesus for the world to be saved. But he made a mistake. The Bible says that with the Holy Spirit, we can do all things. There is no distance in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the day they tell us that we no longer have access to internet, it will not matter. All we need to do is to stay indoors and speak in tongues for the world to be saved. The angels of God are, are spreading. They are going ahead of us to preach the gospel in homes, to preach the gospel in every place for us because we are here. And now, in the book of Mark chapter 16, Jesus said in verse 15, he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Montakabazi. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, these signs, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. It doesn't matter. We can cast out demons even in the life of someone living in China. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Amen. All we need is spiritual contact. And then he said, They will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. How many are afraid to be injected anything? It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Even though you are forced to take anything that is contrary. Let's assume that, you know, they are planning to do something wrong through the vaccine. It doesn't matter. The Bible says if you drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt you. Hallelujah. If you have this understanding of the scripture, of the words of the master, Jesus Christ said that if you drink any deadly thing, it doesn't matter the way you drink it. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the way that you drink it. Whether you drink it with your mouth or you drink it with your nose, coronavirus, or you drink it through touching, through your pores and goes into your system. It doesn't matter the way you drink it. The Bible says that if you drink any deadly thing, oh, hallelujah. Praise God. It shall not hurt you. It is not a promise. It is more than a promise. It is a, a statement of fact. It's a fact. The fact has been established. That fact was established when Jesus spoke the word. It was established then. It means that if you, a child of God, you drink anything that is deadly, anything that has the capacity to destroy your body. The Bible says it shall not hurt you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. If you drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt you. 
These are the words of Jesus. I just wanted to share, you know, this portion of God's truth. To remind yourself that Jesus said that whatever you drink, whether through your mouth or through any other way, it will not hurt you because you are a child of God. God loves his church. Hallelujah. Amen. The same way that God protected, you know, the children of Israel in Egypt. The same way that God made sure that Noah and his family, you know, were saved, kept safe and protected from the flood and from the giants, from the foreign angels. The same way God protects his church. The church of Jesus Christ is protected. We are protected by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So church of Christ, you should not be afraid. You should not be afraid. You should not have uncertainty of the future. No. The business continues. He said, go in all the world and preach the word. Make of all disciples, you know, make of all nations disciples. Make them disciples. Preach the gospel. Preach the word. Make use of every channel that is made available to you. Preach the word. Amen. Speak the word. There are those who are hungry for the word of God. As they listen to you, they will come to the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then they will receive eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. We will do that until the last drop of our blood. We will do it. We will win the world. We will impact the world with the gospel Amen. until the Lord comes. Because he said that at the last trumpet, when the trumpet sounds, we shall be cut up. We shall rapture. We shall check out of this world. Along with the dead in Christ, that will rise first at the first resurrection. They will rise first, and then we, those that will be alive at that time, we will be raptured, and together we will meet the Lord in the air, and forever we shall be with the Lord. And the Bible says that for a thousand years we will be on a holy days in heaven. We will go with the master for a thousand years. And then the Bible says that we will come back to this planet with the master. And we will rule this world. We will rule it. We will rule the world. Hallelujah. This is beautiful. And after ruling the world, the Bible says that God will make a new heaven. And he will make a new earth. And when he makes that new earth, this is our future. So Church of Jesus Christ, when we talk about the hope that we have in Christ Jesus, this is the hope that we have. God has promised us that he will make a new earth. Because this earth will be destroyed. It will pass away. It will go. This earth and this heaven will pass away. God will make everything new. What Adam and Eve were supposed to enjoy, we will enjoy it. Hallelujah. Amen. The tree of life that was in the garden, we have that tree of life now. That tree of life is Jesus because Jesus is the bread and he is the living water. That who he is, he is, he is the life that we need. The life, he is the one that gives us eternal life. Because the tree of life gave eternal life to Adam. But Jesus gives us, gives us eternal life. So Jesus is our tree of life today. And when we get to the new earth, the Bible says that there will not just be one tree of life. There will be many. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. That means that wherever you go, you will have access to the tree of life. You will have access to it. So there is a greater life. The Christians believe that there is a greater life because the Bible tells us that God will make a new earth a beautiful one. 
Hallelujah. So don't lose hope. Don't focus on the present, you know, the present lies of the devil. It is just to make you lose hope. It is just to distract you so that you can change your ways to distraction. But God wants you to remain focused. And when that happens, you will rejoice. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening.